Hari, good evening to all of you. Mm. Today in this session, uh, we have uh, learners across different beds. And as you know, uh, the particular topic means, I mean, area we are going to discuss today is on project assignments and time in examination. Uh, so most of the time as a distance learners, uh, they have, uh, I mean, uh, there is a Louis gap of uh, understanding in most of the students. Uh, those who are, I mean, uh, please put off your microphone. Please. Because I'm handling from uh, my... Uh, okay, so as you know that uh, we have uh, 32 credit this is a 32 credit course in that uh, that's with that have uh, uh, that uh, eight courses different courses and of that seven courses are theory and the for last course that is project that is a project that's of uh, four credits and i'm sure you must have looked into the and that evaluation uh, process uh, and the evaluation process, which is of uh, assignment, which is of examination, and uh, uh, that, that which is of um, project. That's already we are given given in your uh, that's pro program handbook. In addition to that, with our this recent initiative in the last two years, we have already developed. Uh, this uh, web enable academic support system. Since, as you know, the reason behind of developing uh, these one point uh, uh, that uh, one point that uh, student support system through online, the reason behind is that when we were in the beginning, we were to offer, uh, uh, we used to offer this program through a different study center across the country, but in that case what we experience is that on the one side you, you know uh, the density of uh, students is very low on the other hand uh, what we found that since as you know this particular discipline or this program is regular i mean updation through counseling session because what people were giving there in the study material is a is the basic foundation of in that uh, that uh, sustainability science. On the other hand, the issues of sustainability, if you look from holistic approach, that is very unique in this course as compared to other course, courses or program available in India and uh, that is related to sustainability. And ours is very different from those courses. So looking into that and the need for regular interaction with the student and uh, with the advancement of this particular, uh, the ICT compo and its ICT information uh, communication technology, uh, that idea came up in our mind before the corona started. I mean, we did not know corona will come up as you no, know, because before that, in 2019 onward, uh, 2019, uh, September, October, uh, we have, uh, we, I mean, sit together with some faculty in other innovation council of our university and uh, we decided to initiate such kind of student support service so that whatever is to them questions, you know, uh, they have different questions. Some people knows one, uh, uh, that one component, some are not. So to have a one point, uh, I mean, uh, that uh, one, uh, one point so that they will be able to access everything where they can get the solution on solution of uh, those queries related to uh, different processes of uh, uh, getting the, I mean, as a student getting the benefit and getting the others uh, uh, to them. That's why we started Web Enable Academic Support System. And still we are in the process of improving that. And we found that in that case also, as you know, I know everybody is uh, having, every one of uh, you is uh, doing one or other job or some are 
fresh graduate, even some uh, uh, that uh, master uh, research scholar, some are in job, that may be one of the reasons they are not able to explore our web enabled academic job courses then. And that may be, that is one of the reason why Louis in discussion forum and sometime direct contact to me, that's I'm happy. I'm not uh, saying it, don't contact me. I'm feel free, uh, feel free to contact me at any time. I always put my mobile number open to the public. I mean, especially for PhD student. So these three component is uh, most of the time it is distance education learner, especially when we are offering this kind of student support system uh, through online. Most of you have these issues how to develop the project and how to prepare the assignments and what are the procedure to do it. And uh, one more, I mean, uh, I mean, issues is that whenever we are giving uh, that online support system, you always feel that most of the, you, I'm not saying everybody, most of the that, okay, we are, we can have online uh, that uh, time in examination also, but that gap of understanding is always dear. So to clear all those, those I mean, dove, I, uh, that's why would, uh, I mean, most of you, most of the time you inquire about all these, uh, those issues. That's why we are putting this session today and it's a joint session for all the learners across uh, the different batches. Starting with this, as I told you that, uh, Project is of, uh, it is also mentioned there, project is of for credit. And the reason behind uh, having project is one of the courses under postgraduate diploma in sustainability science. In the beginning, when we were developing the process, uh, developing these courses, few of the experts, they were of the opinion that it's better to have alternative, I mean, uh, two more or one more uh, theory courses. In, a, I mean, in place of this project, but the vision and the mission of this particular, uh, this program is, as you know, we need to understand how to implement our understanding in holistic approach of sustainable development and its principle. So we have to apply our own knowledge and understanding in the understanding on the one side and other side, you can assess yourself when you are doing a project under the guidance of any uh, supervisor. Uh, so that uh, that is the reason why we are having this project as a compulsory component. Because after completion of this course, if you are able, at least able to develop a project or if you are going, if you are able to do something or other, whatever you learn based on the principle, theoretical principle knowledge you learn on the basic concept of sustainable science, planet of sustainable development, uh, and then uh, I'm sure uh, that will give you your own satisfaction and in the process we will be able to enhance, uh, I mean, your skill in, in most of the aspect of whenever you are, you may be a team member, you may be a team leader, or you may be fresh graduate once uh, who are, I mean, looking for a job. So this will help you uh, to get your next ladder of, um, I mean, to reach to the next ladder of your I mean, uh, objectives or aims of your life. That is the reason. So when, we'll, uh, when we talk about these three particular issues, one is project, assignment, and uh, time and examination. I will start with the project. Uh, the simple understanding with this project is you have to understand this is those who already completed they are uh, the master. In the most of the master courses nowadays, you know, they have a dissertation, MSc dissertation. It's just like that MSc dissertation, right? But so you, I mean, most of you those who have completed their masters, I'm sure they must have the idea of uh, what is a project, right? In this, I have already we have already put. Uh, these uh, diagram is also there in our uh, BIAS plot platform. First, when you are trying to do a project, as I mentioned you, that that has to be whatever you are going to pro uh, that uh, doing or proposing in that project, that should reflect or that should be 
under the tenet and the principle of sustainable science. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, we always increase you to do with your, your basic foundation in your own, before, I mean, basic academic uh, expertise. So first step to start your project is select a topic by considering the following points. One is, uh, that uh, that is so uh, it will be I will tell you what are the topic uh, what are the points then consult the supervisor you have to identify a supervisor that's also details will be coming then so third step is project proposal submission once your proposal is submitted you have to submit a project proposal how to submit also I'm going to explain you then you will get the approval if you get the approval what you uh, have to do uh, next step that's will show. Then communication of the approval, you will get a communication of the approval or uh, if it is, if you are not, uh, the proposal is not approved, then you need to resubmit another proposal or depending upon the feedback of the committee. Then after you receive that communication approval of the getting the approval, then you have to uh, start to do the project and uh, submit a project report. So this is the the uh, that skeletal of the process is what you have to follow in uh, the drawing uh, from the formulation stage to the final submission of the project. Simple. It's a very simple idea. Uh, the simple process. Then, when we are talking about what is selection of the topic, as I mentioned you, and it's already we also have given. It's a. I mean, it is a only. Uh, it is also, uh, we have uh, put all this information in our study material, I mean, uh, that project handbook. First point, not only in our, uh, this uh, sustainable science project, when you will have a time bound project, right? So first you have to, and uh, with the purpose of a particular purpose, uh, you have to understand the suitability of the topic. First, you have to understand this, then the relevance of the topic that here we are talking about example, say this is an example urban planning diploma, which I, which, I mean, this, uh, I mean, it's a tentative uh, example. Then time available, available at your disposal, right? What about the time limitation? Whether how much time you will be able to devote both, uh, for this particular project? Because as you know, the, you are learning in distance education the other side, uh, in the same time, you are doing your own job, or your, uh, I mean, taking a, a responsibility of your family. And what is the purpose of this project? And all this you have to keep in your mind. Then feasibility, if you are, if you are I mean, proposing a such kind of project that, that uh, involve data collection, collection, that also you have to understand that, uh, identify the, or understand the feasibility of data collection within that given limit, time limit. Then what are the challenges? And uh, as you know, we do not, you don't do not provide any, I mean, uh, financial uh, help in this. So you have to understand the cost involved in the data collection. And then others, you know, these are the major characteristic of uh, identifying a topic, uh, not only PCTHS for other courses and for others. So the project proposal then should clearly start or should have, okay, and then this is the proposal, right? This is the idea. Then the next step is, you know, you have to, I mean, uh, consult, because first, as a student of postgraduate diploma in sustainable science, you have to understand all this point. Then you have to, I mean, request a pros uh, a supervisor. The reason why why we are not proposing uh, this course in independent project means where we know that all of you have one or other experience in one side and under some of the group. Uh, they already have the experience, uh, I mean, conducting such kind of project. Despite that fact, why we increase or we always put as a, I mean, uh, uh, as, a, uh, as a boundary that you have to conduct this, uh, to conduct this pro uh, project under a supervisor region is you may be 
an expert in a particular field. It may, you may be in social, uh, from sociology background, you may be from environmental and science by, background, you may be from biotechnology. Uh, you may have 10 year experience in pollution planning, but here you must try to understand when you develop this project, do this small project, you must try to understand the holistic approach of what type of the principle we learn in this seven courses. You have to try to understand that uh, and implement that principle. That is why uh, we, uh, I mean, propose this uh, work to do under a, uh, that supervisor. Who are eligible? Faculty at the headquarters, depending on, upon your area. Okay. Academic council or academic counselors of PG Diploma Sustainable Science with relevant experience. When we say academic counselors, counselors are those who are teaching you. Not only that, I have already uh, given some of the list over there in BIAS platform. Then teachers, researchers in the area of sustainable development, PhD in environment and science. In addition to that, you know, we increase due to uh, those who, uh, those expert academics they have who have. Uh, in uh, that PhD degree in environment science or study or economics or sociology or anthropology or any related discipline, right? Because uh, that is more important than master and build. These are some of the, I mean, desirable qualification uh, where a uh, supervisor should have to mentor you uh, to conduct this project, right? The purpose of the supervisor, most of you know that uh, in case, for example, uh, when you submit a proposal, uh, that format is also coming, you have to attach the uh, CV of the supervisor. You first, first you identify the uh, core, uh, that broad area you want to work. Then second step, what you did, you have identified the supervisor based on your experience or what the area you want to work, right? Then after that, <clears throat> you prepare the propo uh, proposal. Proposal format is also I'm explaining. Then when you submit a propo project proposal, you have to submit the CV resume of the uh, that uh, mentor or supervisor, right? So the uh, the <clears throat> responsibility of supervisor, as you know, that's only mentoring work and discuss from time to time to discuss what is the possible of uh, feasibility of uh, that your study, whether it will be possible to conduct a study uh, in this particular time limit and what, I mean, what are the, then in in, in summary, in a child, uh, that academic support, academic advice, guidance, no, so, these are responsibilities, or as you know, I need not to explain. Then this is the what I mentioned. This is the performer for approval of project proposal. You have to that is in uh, that uh, word copy uh, word file also. I have already put uh, there in your BIAS portal. Here uh, I found that uh, some of the learners they are asking me, they, for example, first what they did, they have uh, uh, approached our faculty. Then they discuss it, what kind of project they can do, what they want to do and all that thing. So they drafted the project, they finalize it, then the supervisor must have communicated to the learners that, okay, I agree, we can do that. Then suddenly, I received some email from the learners that, sir, uh, we have, uh, my project is approved by the supervisor. So give me the project proposal number. So my here I want to give clarification to all of you is that please try to, I mean, understand the process uh, we have clearly explained in there. So the point here, what I want to say is that here, you know, this project proposal number that will be assigned by the school after submission of this performer, right? Here, as I mentioned you that when you have uh, uh, sent this performer, 
uh, that uh, fill in proper mark here also is clearly written here that by the tau of the supervisor, right here also. Okay. So in that case, in that if it is had quota uh, that uh, of the any of the, our counselor, you do not need to send uh, supervisors uh, perform. I mean CB. Then the project proposal format should be. This has to be very carefully. You should look into that. Sometimes uh, uh, I mean learners do not look it very carefully. So you have to uh, I mean uh, follow this standard uh, format. First, you need to have a title. Here I want to ask, uh, tell you one thing is when you decide title, please make it very crispy. Sometimes I have seen that in the last few previous batches, they propose uh, some lengthy title. And it, let it be, be just be it's a crispy, uh, crispy and it's, uh, that title should not have Try, uh, uh, try, do not try not to have a, uh, a, a long uh, title. Okay, then it should have introduction, objectives, problem statement, research methodology. I mean, limitation if any in the differentiate. It is only indicative, not restricted to there. And the that uh, we have already put some of the probable area, indicative area uh, of. Uh, that uh, possible uh, that area of uh, uh, project where you can conduct in uh, your study, I mean, project handbook also. You can look there also. Then those proposal you have to send directly to our headquarter in this address. That's also we have already given your uh, uh, that project guide and the users for update information. I always, I mean, suggest you please follow the updated information that is available in our web enabled academic support portal, BIAS portal. Okay, if you have any issues in accessing that BIAS portal, please write it you know, uh, to us at pgdss at redignore.ac.in immediately. Because as you know, this portal is for a closed user, user group and we do not open this portal to the public. It is for only for those learners, right? So whenever you, I know some of the learners, they have facing problem in accessing the BIAS portal. Another one reason is some of them, they do not use the same email in the Gmail account. We, where they provided to us where, while they are trying to access the site. Another issue is, I know that one, one portion of the, our learners, uh, they do not provide that, that Gmail account uh, when they submit the online application form. In that case also, when I send a welcome letter, we requested to update their contact email uh, in, uh, that in Gmail account. Some of, most of you have done it, but I have seen that two, three people uh, learn us, they are still not doing, updating their Gmail account. So please do that. Then if you are updating that, you know, this uh, portal is, uh, you can access by using Gmail account only, right? This is how we have to submit the project proposal. So here also, to, nowadays, you know, uh, after uh, this uh, pandemic, uh, it has become uh, routine that uh, we're accepting that uh, proposal, the scan copy of the proposal format. We have scan copy of this particular page, this page. Others, you can, this one, uh, then you can uh, send through your uh, word file or you can uh, send in uh, PDF format. You can and just make a one file of uh, both of uh, these two, means one is signed by you, you and the supervisor, then you send it to our email address. So the tentative that deadline of this particular the project proposal submission and approval is you know 30th April. These are tentative deadline, right? 
Then after that, uh, we'll send that, we'll have a committee, we'll look into the proposal submitted by you, then we'll communicate the status. If it is not approved, then the committee will suggest what you have to do. Then you have to resubmit the proposal. Then we'll send, we'll send the communication. So then you formulate, you complete the project and submit the, submit the project proposal. Then, you know, here, the length of the report, it may be around 40 to uh, 50 double, uh, the double step, uh, double space uh, type uh, pages, around 10,000 words. That's also, uh, there you may have 10,000, 10, you can say 10,000. And each project report must include, sometimes, you know, uh, we overlook, here. First is, you know, copy of the approved project proposal for project proposal. You should not forget this. This is very important because it has to be traced out with your project proposal number, which is assigned by the school when we approve your proposal, right? Then certificate of originality duly signed by student and supervisor, no title. These are the I mean, key skeletal, you have to, uh, uh, as a content, you have to include in your uh, that project. So the format of the project, this also we have already put up in the Word file so that you can directly use this, I mean, that order that is uh, there so you can use. So the problem is uh, learners, they, are not regularly, I mean, whenever they have some problem or whenever they have any further query, they avoid it or maybe one or other reason they do not look into our BIAS portal. That is all they did, right? Then this is also very important certificate of originality. That's also we have put there. So I'm showing you the specific site where you will get details about a project. Here, when you open, when you started to access in after login, you will be able to see our BIAS portal. Here, you just click into the project work. You will find our project work, format, sample reports, everything, whatever the possible, we have put there. That's why we call it as a, uh, one point, right? Then there also you will see the project proposal format here, certificate of originality, you download from here, final project report format, all this format, it is all the dear, then you can download easily, right? Even we put in such a way that you need not to retype it again, that standard format, that is dear, okay. That is indicative. That was, uh, that is the indicative that we are not saying that you have to, I mean, uh, stick into uh, that particular, uh, that contents uh, order only. We are not saying that these are the key skeletal where when you propose a project uh, proposal, when you do a pro uh, project that should include those key skeleton of the issues. Then, after completion of the project, after approval, you know, that should be completion of the project report should not send to the program coordinator. It should be directly sent to the registrar, student evaluation division, Igno Maidanagari. Great. So please be careful. Otherwise, what you know, what we have uh, found that sometimes the ugly write to me, sir, where I have to say, and, uh, and some, I have found, uh, I have seen that last uh, few batches, they have sent directly to me and without considering any standard format. And I don't know how, what is in your mind. Uh, they do it cut and the paste. They never bother about the standard format. They are not looking into the, what is the project proposal. They uh, do cut paste from other project. 
so this happens so please avoid all the those uh, is i mean uh, possible things please avoid try to do at least the small don't give three four objective only give one objective or two objective do the zina that uh, uh, zina work don't do cut and paste read that is uh, uh, my suggestion so here also that line is indicative you know from time to time university announce that line right so this are the indicative uh, deadline you have to keep me in keep in your mind that okay i have to complete by 31st may or first uh, 30 november i mean in that way these are indicative so in over to some time extend the deadline as you know so after corona you know uh university and they have uh, taken the project online so they are also in the bias portal here i have put that link you have how to submit the project full project this is not for your uh, proposal this is for full project report online here proposal has to be first the uh, the first uh, proforma you have to tag the print or you have to tag the sign you do your sign then scan it and uh, send it in one file together with your proposal to pzdss that ignore.ac.in right please be clear this is only for full project proposal report right <clears throat> then come to assignment i'm sure you are able to clear the basic procedure of project right next come to the assignment so every courses have uh, assignments up to every theory courses they have 30 percent weightage so we always have assignment and that assignment is different from one year to another so uh, in that case for example uh, you have to use the latest assignment for example, you may be a batch of 2018, but you were giving examination in that time. Or if you are not submitted the uh, assignment before, and if you are going to submit, if you are already submitted, there is no issue. If you are not submitted, you have to use the latest assignment, download it and submit it. In assignment also, uh, you have to, in case of assignment, you have to send us, send to us directly in this address that is i mean latest of the irrespective of batch see these are tentative that that line of submission of assignment in this time also you have learned that you know that the university extend the last date of assignment project this alternative if you want to give the june term examination June, in the month of June, by 31st March, at least you must be ready for that. Like that in December, if you are planning to give in December term in examination, 30. Because the evaluator nowadays, you know, after the completion of the examination within 45 days, university has to announce result. So that's why before starting the examination, uh, they sent, uh, we sent to the evaluator so that we will be able to update the mark or communicate the mark uh, that uh, to the concern division, right? And here also we have put here. You know, you got if you go to the Bias portal, there is assignment link. You know, submitted assignment. Everything is there. You will find out. When I have put uh, that this link is also if you submitted an assignment, and uh, then you can see the assignment. Please don't do pranabi. Yeah, I'm giving Pranabi, take out, take out that. Then Pranabi uses, delete this mark here. Then online assignment submission guideline here. As you know, I told you there is some is nowadays uh, because of pandemic and more of uh, I am uh, sure for PGTSS courses, we are going to tag the assignment online the difference uh, with the, that of conventional way of submission assignment is, uh, what is that? 
In that, you have to, uh, I mean, send by post here, use this handwritten. Assignment has to do your own handwritten that scan it and submitted uh, that, that email, uploaded in your, I mean, in your, uh, that Google, uh, this uh, Google Drive. Otherwise, it's a small file. I've seen that they are easily, uh, the most of the learners, uh, they send it very easily uh, without uh, I mean, uploading in the, uh, this, uh, without uh, sharing through Google Drive. So you can do easily it, okay. So each course, for example, for MSD011, users make only one file. There must be four questions. And don't mix MSD011 and 012 because the evaluation will go to different evaluators. So don't mix it, max different file for different courses, right? This is the deadlines of online submission. Scan copy of handwritten assignment, please submit in PDF format, make different files for different course. First page should have the following detail, assignment number, questions, Optional, you can put the question. I, most of the learners, they put, uh, put the question otherwise, but assignment number is complex. Your name, enrollment number, email. File number, file name should be, for example, this is your enrollment number, right? Then course, in the same way, enrollment number this, MSD01, so make different file. And sometimes uh, some learners use their name also. Uh, I mean, before uh, enrollment number, that's good. That is also a good idea. Right. So assignments of uh, here, you know, already they are a BIAS portal, updated, used updated assignment. The reason why I request all of you to do in the BIAS portal, to look into the BIAS portal is, portal is that in our centralized assignment that uh, student side, uh, all the assignment is available here. So sometimes some student, by confusion, they ask her which one who has to use. So not down, updated, latest updated assignment. If you are downloading from there also, same assignment of here, the 2021 assignment will also be, it's already updated over there also. But to clear, and this, I mean, this will be easy for you to understand. That's why I suggest directly from she. And the, there is some students, learners have always have this issue. When there is the, you know, when we request you put your assignment number here. What that did, most of the learners in my experience, uh, gap in understanding, they give it assignment number, this course number only. So this is not assignment number, right? So assignment number is over here, right? So you must write this assignment. If you write the assignment number, I mean, clearly, then you need to put your question, right? Then comes to common examination. Now I'm sure you clear about the project, then uh, assignment, now common examination. You're eligible since it is not a semester batch, right? So it's a one year diploma, busy diploma program. So you are eligible to appear the examination after completion of one year. That is if you Admission is in June, January. For example, those who uh, 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 who enroll in January 2020, they are eligible to give in December 20 time in examination. So in this time, because of pandemic, the December 2020 examination, uh, now uh, we are conducting in this February only, right? So in the same way, those who I mean, admitted, uh, got admission in July 2020, and they are eligible to give and uh, for coming June 2021, time examination. Please be clear. Uh, uh, <coughs> so then, <coughs> next is when this course has flexibility of completing this course in three years. So up to three years, for example, if you are admitted in, admitted in the 2020 uh, January, admission is January 2020, and if you are not able to give December term examination, 
then you can give examination in june next december till no 20 uh, 122 22 december 22 exam right uh, and uh, you can give examination part by part i mean D, uh, you can uh, appear only three paper in the first examination second examination only three paper in the same way right but i <coughs> suggest you at least you complete the assignment on time that will uh, help you uh, that will give you uh, far from the confusion otherwise you are also confused we are also confused so try to submit the assignment at one go otherwise assignment will be changed then next question come is uh, examination centers see not down that uh, we are not uh, offering this course as of now in the future we are planning in another one year we are planning to offer in uh, purely online as of now the uh, program is offering open distance learning only right only we are giving student support through bias means online because of looking into the uh, requirement what kind of counseling, what kind of interaction we need to have with our learners and how we learners need to interact and what, I mean, the need to interact, regular interaction with the learners and the teachers, wherever possible. That's why we are utilizing this particular platform and this uh, available, whatever the available online counseling session and uh, only the student support service is online, web enabled academic support. That's why I call it web you know. So when it comes into examination, if you look into other component also, it is just like we are following the same that procedures it follows with other courses of Igno, who is offering in Odia. Starting from your that uh, project assignments, everything like other courses. In the same way, examination also, you can appear the examination anywhere in India. In the specified study center, you mention when you submit the term in examination form. That is, and one another provision in this time, it was, there was having some difficulty in this particular in this February examination. Otherwise, for example, if you, uh, I mean, selected, I mean, you have uh, selected your hometown as examination center. And in meantime, you are moving to another town in the time of examination, right? You can write to the, uh, the regional center or to the concerned division, at least to consider it with valid region otherwise and uh, don't misuse this because as you know it's very difficult to manage uh, an examination of so much uh, big university so much program more than you know if you look in the courses we have more than i mean uh, five thousand six thousand program so this is the benefit you can have this is what I want to share with all of you. If any further query is there, then we can discuss. Thanks. I'm sure uh, you you have all uh, you must you must be able to clear what the but the doubt you have with with specific to these uh, three important component of evaluation. One is project, and that what is I did not mention in that time with an. Uh, expectation that you must have known that proposal that project report is 75 percent which is and uh, then viva uh, boss is for 25 percent so we have some i mean uh, been uh, opportunity in this pgtss is that we are conducting viva boshi through online so the medium what we are doing counseling <clears throat> get successfully conducted in this time. So I'm sure this will speed up your evaluation process uh, 
that is what we're trying our best level, right? So <coughs> that's all now uh, I'm, uh, I'm opening this for uh, discussion. Right, so in the first, let us have a, uh, a group photo. Then let, uh, 